Good evening. Let's read some more. It's uh, six, 6 p.m. soon. I start to get tired. But before I read this, no, I don't like to talk about everything I'm reading because something uh, I read just because I like to read it. Like uh, this one. During the Weimar Republic Industry Rail Transport predecessor German State Railways founded 1 April 1920 to Funk 7 October 1949 successors Deutsche Bund Eastbahn. Deutsche Reichsbahn, East Germany. Area served. Deutsche Reichsbahn. Deutsche Reichsbahn DR emblem during the Weimar Republic Industry Rail Transport predecessor German State Railways founded 1 April 1920 to Funk 7 October 1949 successors Deutsche Bahn Diesbahn. Deutsche Reichsbahn, East Germany. Area served Weimar Republic, 1920-1933. Nazi Germany, 1933-1945. Allied Occupy Germany, 1945-1949. The Deutsche Reichsbahn, also known as the German National Railway, 1. The German State Railway, German Reich Railway, 2. And the German Imperial Railway, 3, 4. Was the German National Railway system created after the end of World War I from their general railways of the individual states of the German Empire? The Deutsche Reichsbahn has been described as the largest enterprise in the capitalist world in the years between 1920 and 1932. Winking sad smiley one. Nevertheless, its importance arises primarily from the fact that the Reichsbahn was at the center of events in a period of great turmoil in German history. One Overview The company was founded on the 1st of April, 1920 as the Deutsche Reichsbahn, German Imperial Railways. One When the Weimar Republic, which still used the nation-state term of the previous monarchy, Deutsches Reich, German Reich, hence usage of the Reich in the name of the railway, the monarchical term was Deutsches Kaiserreich, took national control of the German railways, which had previously been run by the German states, Landerbonin. In 1924 it was reorganized under the aegis of the Deutsche Reichsbahn Gesellschaft, German Imperial Railway Company, DRG, a nominally private railway company, which was 100% owned by the German state. In 1937 the railway was reorganized again as a state authority and given the name Deutsche Reichsbahn, German Imperial Railway, DRB. After the Anschluss in 1938 the DR also took over the Bundesbahn Osterreich, Federal Railway of Austria, BBO, dot, five, six, seven, eight. The East and West German states were founded in 1949. East Germany took over the control of the DR on its territory and continued to use the traditional name Deutsche Reichsbahn, while Ed Railway in West Germany became the Deutsche Bundesbahn, German Federal Railway, DB. The Austrian Osterreichische Bundesbahn in Austrian Federal Railways, OBB, was founded in 1945 and was given its present name in 1947. In January 1994, following German reunification, the East German Deutsche Reichsbahn merged with the East German Deutsche Bundesbahn to form Germany's new national carrier, Deutsche Bahn AG, German Rail, BAG, technically no longer a government agency but still a 100% state-owned joint staff company. Deutsche Reichsbahn in 1920-1924. The first railways to be owned by the German Empire, which was founded in 1871, 
were the Imperial Railways in Alsace Lorraine, whose Imperial General Division of Railways in Alsace Lorraine, Kaiser Lakey General Dirk Schilder Eisenbahn in Alsace Lothringen, had its headquarters in Strasbourg, now Strasbourg. It was formed after France had ceded the territory of Alsace Lorraine in 1871 to the German Empire and the newly created Third French Republic had formally purchased the French Eastern Railway Company, French, Company des Chemins de Fer de Ellis or German, Franzosis Chospongi Selskift, and then sold it again to the German Empire. After the end of the First World War this National Imperial Railway was taken back by France. In the remaining German states, by contrast, the existing state railways continued to be subject to their respective sovereigns, despite the fact that Otto von Bismarck had tried in vain to purchase the main railway lines for the Empire. A similar attempt failed in 1875 as a result of opposition from the Middle Powers when Albert von Maybrick presented a draft Greek Railway Act to the Bundesrat. In the wake of the stipulations of the Weimar Constitution of the 11th of August 1919, the State Treaty on the Foundation of the Deutsche Reichsenbahnen German Reich Railways came into force on 1 April 1920. This resulted in the merger of the existing state railways, Landerbonin, of Prussia, Bavaria, Saxony-Württemberg, Baden, Mecklenburg and Oldenburg under the newly formed German Reich. The state railways that merged were the Baden State Railways, Mecklenburg State Railways, Oldenburg State Railways, Bavarian State Railways, Saxon State Railways, Württemberg State Railways Prussian Hessian State Railways Initially called the Reichsenbahn or Deutsche Reichsenbahn, the company was formally given the name Deutsche Reichsbahn by decree of the Reich Minister of Transport, Wilhelm Groner, on 27 June 1921. In 1922 the old railway divisions, Eisenbahn Direktionen, were renamed as Reich Railway Divisions. Reichsbahn Direktionen, dot, 9, Deutsche Reichsbahn G. Selskift, 1924-1937. Among the provisions of the 1924 Doors Plan was a plan to utilize the state railway completely for the payment of war reparations. Following the plan's publication, on the 12th of February, 1924, the Reich government announced the creation of the Deutsche Reichsbahn as a state enterprise under the Reich Ministry of Transport, German, Reichsverkehrsministerium. As this was not enough to satisfy the reparations creditors, on 30 August 1924 a law was enacted providing for the establishment of a state-owned Deutsche Reichsbahn Gesellschaft, German Imperial Railway Company, DRG, as a public holding company to operate the national railways. The aim was to own a DRG conductor in 1928 complete with rank insignia profits which, under the Dawes plan, were to be used to contribute to Germany's war reparations. At the same time as the Reichsbahn law was enacted, the company was shunted a bill of 11 billion gold marks to be paid to the Allied powers while its original capital was valued at 15 billion gold marks. These terms were later amended in the Young Plan. Nevertheless, the Great Depression and the regular payment of war reparations, about 660 million Reichs marks annually, put a considerable strain on the Reichsbahn. Note until the Lausanne Conference of 1932 was the Reichsbahn released from its financial obligations. In total, about 3.87 billion gold marks was paid in reparations to the Allied powers. During the DRG period the following milestones occurred 1 October 1930, the DRG took over the Bremen Port Railway, Hafenbahn Bremen. The 27th of June, 1933, the DRG's sister company the Reeks Autobahn was founded. The 1st of March, 1935, the railways of the Saal were incorporated. 
the beginning of the DRG was characterized by the acquisition of new rolling stock built to standard types such as the standard steam locomotives, e height damp locomotive. The stock already in use had been inherited from the various state railways and comprised a great number of designs, many of them quite old. Dot in fact, the DRG was unable to procure new stock in the numbers it wanted to both for financial reasons and due to delays in upgrading the lines to carry higher axle loads. The locomotive class is taken over from old state railways, especially those from the Prussia continued to dominate the scene until the end of the 1930s. They included, for example, the Prussian 8P, BR38.10-40, Prussian 10P, BR39, Prussian G12, BR58.10, and the Prussian T20, BR95. The Bavarian S3 forward slash 6, BR18.5. Express locomotive even continued in production until 1930. Not until the procurement program for the wartime Cryax locomotive and were new goods locomotive is built in large numbers, but of course now for a very different purpose. Taking lead from the German labor front, the Deutsche Reichsbahn took part in the conflict of intermarriage in Germany. In August 1933, Robert Ley, leader of Reich Labor, demanded that those the administrators working for the German labor front be married only to German individuals. The Deutsche Reichsbahn took the lead in discriminating against intermarried workers, firing German employees married to Jews and forbidding intermarried Germans from working there in the future, starting in November 1933. In 1935 the railway network had a total of 68,728 kilometers, 42,706 mi, of line, of which 30,330 kilometer, 18,850 mi, was main line railway, 27,209 kilometers, 16,900 and the old state railways especially those from the Prussia, continued to dominate the scene until the end of the Before the Second World War the most important railway lines ran in an east-west direction. The high-speed lines at that time were on the Prussian Eastern Railway which ran through the Polish Corridor, albeit slower there due to the poor state of the tracks. The lines from Berlin to Hamburg, via Hanover to the Ruhrgebiet via Frankfurt and Main to southwest Germany, on which the diesel express trains ran, and the Silesian railway from Berlin to Breslau, now the Klaw, dot Bavarian Group Administration. Within the state of Bavaria, the Bavarian Group Administration, Gruppen the Walton Bayern, had its head of this, Zentrals Maskin und Bauern, and was largely independent by 314 of the DRG's company regulations. It was responsible for the electrification of many lines, following the commencement of electric power generation to the railways at the Walsh NC power plant, and for the independent trialing and procurement of locomotives and passenger coaches. The group administration introduced, for example, the Class E32 locomotive and Class ET85 railcar into service. Bavaria also continued to use its own signaling system for many years after the merger. In 1933, the group administration was disbanded and administration of the railways in Bavaria was taken over by the Deutsche Reichsbahn. Leadership of the Reichsbahn. At the head of the Reichsbahn was a director general, general director. The office holders were 1924-1926 Rudolf Oser, 1926-1945 Julius Dorfmuller. From 1925, the Director General had a permanent deputy. These were 1925-1926 Julius Dorfmuller, 1926-1933 Wilhelm Weirorch. 1933-1942 Wilhelm Kleinman 1942-1945 Albert Gansenmuller 
as a result of the Reich Strong Act of the 11th of July 1939. The Reich Transport Minister became the Director General of the Reich Strong by his office. Dorf Muller, who since 1937 was also in charge of the Reich Ministry of Transport, continued in office as the Director General after 1939 under this new legal framework. Deutsche Reichsbahn, 1937-1945. With the Act for the new regulation of the conditions of the Reichsbahn and the Deutsche Reichsbahn, G. Setzen Regelung der Verhältnisse der Reichsbahn und der 